In this video, I will show you how to load a CSV file in Pandas. Pandas is an open source Python library for data analysis. This is my CSV file and this file contains five columns. First, second, third, fourth and fifth. First of all, I need to find the location of this file and this file is stored on my desktop. Let's go to my desktop first. This is the file. The file name is Iris. And to find the location, we have to right click on this file. Once you right click, go to properties. And from properties, you have to copy this location. Once you copy the location, press OK. Let's go to our Jupyter notebook. First of all, we need to import pandas. So we are going to import pandas as pd. I'm going to make one variable df. In this, I will save the CSV file. From pandas, we will use the method read underscore CSV. And inside this, in single quotes or double quotes, we have to put the CSV file location. And once you paste the location, you have to make sure that instead of one slash, we have to use double slash. So let's make it double slash here. And after this, we have to type the file name. As I have shown you, my file name is Iris. This is my file name Iris. So here I will type iris.csv. Now let's run this code. I have successfully imported the CSV file and save in the variable df. Let's check top five rows. So we will say df.head. In the output, we can see that we have, we have got top five rows, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And these are the five columns, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. We can also check the last five rows. We have to use the method tail df dot tail. These are the bottom five rows and their row number starts from 145, 146, 47, 148 and 149. Let's also print the type of our data. Since this is a pandas data frame, we should get pandas in the output. Let's type print type of and we have to pass our data frame name. So our data frame name is df. In the output, we can see that we got pandas.core.frame.data frame. So this is a data frame. We can also check the shape of our data frame. Let's type df.shape. In the output, we can see that we got 150 by 5. 150 means we have total 150 rows and 5 means we have 5 columns. We have seen here, these are the 5 columns, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So whenever you are checking shape, you will get the values of rows and columns. Let's check column names. You can see that the column names are given here and you can read. But in case if you have a very large data set in which you have more than 20 or 30 columns, you cannot see all the columns here. At that time, you can check the column names. And to check column names, we have to type df.columns. In the output, we can see that we have got all the column names, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, and class. These are the column names and we can access this using the method columns. We can also check the type of each column. That is, we want to check whether this column is numeric or object or a string. So we can do that. We have to type df, that is our data frame name, dot d types. In the output, we got the information about the column names, the data type. It says that the sepal length column has a data type of float 64, sepal width float 64, petal length float 64, petal width float 64, and class is an object. Float 64 means these columns are numeric, while object means this column is a string or it contains alphabet. We can check that 
and we can see here that the class column contains string that is we have some names here and rest of the columns contains number that's why we got float 64 for other columns we can get more information about the data and there's a function info we have to use that let's print df dot info and we have to put square, double brackets here and once we print this we get some information about our data frame the first thing is we get to know about the class of our data frame df so it is a pandas dot core dot frame dot data frame it says that there are 150 entry entries that is we have total 150 rows and the rows start from 0 to 149 we have seen here that in the head function the first row is 0 so that's why we got here 0 and the last row is 149 and we have seen that in tail also let's verify we can see here the last row number is 149 the information are such as column here so these are the column names sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and class non null count that is either there are missing values or not so it says that 150 non null that means there are no missing values in our column sepal length and then this column d type it tells us about the data type of our column so our sepal length column is a float 64 data type similarly all other informations are given for other columns let's say for sepal width petal length petal width and class these are the information you can get using the method info this video was about how to import a csv file in pandas if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching